Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies Talk Board series. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can get UI for AA agents. Uh, if you guys don't know what is AA agents, I will quickly tell in this Talk Board play video as well. But please watch develop AA agents playlist which I have created in Wafa Studies YouTube channel to understand AA agents and to get a hands-on experience there. So AA agents are nothing but like a LLM that means like a chart GPT uh, the GPT model or anything which can understand the natural language and give you the response back plus the task to achieve so let's assume you know that chart GPT can tell you the itinerary or the hotel details when you want to go to trip to Australia or US or Europe but it cannot book the bookings for you right it cannot book the hotels for you it cannot book the flights for you but let's assume that if you can give that capability of booking as well to the LLM uh, then that is called a task basically so you will write a code that will help to book the tickets and you will give that piece of code to the LLM uh, and uh, from that moment your, your, your LLM plus that a task whatever you have given combinedly put together we can name it like a AA agents okay so AA agents are uh, basically LLM models which has a capability to achieve some task and the task was actually given by you only so you will write a code and give that to them uh, but I'm not going details about it uh, we will disc we have discussed that in the AA videos AA agents videos so please watch there you will get a hands-on experience as well now uh, as I said how to get a UI right so whenever we write a AA agents uh, in that playlist you know that we have written something called a Python code there and whenever we run that Python code it executed in a terminal so within the terminal your agent is responding all that is fine now imagine the real world scenario you will you cannot give this terminal version of the AA agent to the people to use it right ideally you will give with some ui so how to get a ui for AA agents is there a better way the answer is yes there are a couple of uh, frameworks which are uh, exclusively available for you so there is come something called chain lit framework there is something called stream lit framework okay so these libraries if you use you will not write any code uh, automatically a UI will come with you and that UI will have a chart experience so assume your UI is coming with a chart experience where you are prompting your questions to a agent and it is responding as I said maybe you are saying okay give me the hotel details it gave the details in that chart now you inputted that now book this particular hotel and it is booking the hotel also for you and you got a message on your mobile so all that experience is a chart experience right so this kind of a chart experience without writing any UI code you will get when you use uh, these frameworks right uh, chain lit or a stream lit so not only this there are couple of other frameworks as well so I am exclusively highlighting that similar to that there are couple of other frameworks too but let's assume I want to write a dedicated code maybe I wanted to write a, a react code for the UI or maybe my own HTML or maybe a blazor if you are a dotnet developer you know blazor framework help you to get the single page web applications so I want to write my own code I want to design my own application with menus and all and when I click that menu it should open that chart experience and I should be able to chart with agent so you, you want that kind of an experience uh, then what you have to do you have to follow certain steps uh, basically whatever the agent you develop right so whatever the agent you develop you try to develop that inside the Azure function okay uh, and exclusively use the HTTP trigger type why HTTP trigger type HTTP trigger type Azure function makes that whole piece of the code as an API that means I can make the request and get the response back so what you have to do maybe you will be designing a Azure function and for this Azure function request is going to be uh, maybe a JSON where you will have input input text keyword uh, where you will supply your prompt okay uh, so input text as a request you will supply to the uh, Azure function then Azure function will take that request and uh, with the inside the Azure function you might be having a code for your agent so agent will understand the prompt whatever you have given and it will respond you back with the response and all your response again may come back in the JSON format so this is this whole thing is called uh, like hosting your agent as an API 
with the help of Azure functions. So technically what happens here is your agent will, ha will not have any UI. Technically it became a API where you will send your prompt via request body and get the response from the response body. Now there is no UI for the APIs, right? So once you have that API, what you can do it is, you can may, uh, on top of that API, you can write your own code there. So that means what I am saying, assume that uh, maybe you want to write a React code. Uh, so what, or maybe you want to write a Blazor code for the UI. So you will develop your whole web application using any of your favorite framework, uh, maybe React or, or Blazor or whatever it is. And then inside that you will build the UI kind of a experience and inside that you will hit the API where you hosted your agent. So your agent becomes an API, it will take the prompt via request body and get the response back and that request response will be displayed on a web application which you have created via React or Blazor or any framework. So that's what I want to discuss about in this talk board video. Uh, let's meet for further more understanding about any other concepts or any other questions what you guys have in the next talk board video. Please note that in this talk board video we will be discussing purely concepts via board and uh, these are generally like the questions what people ask like uh, 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 generally I, I get a lot of questions via comments and other things. So I will try to address all these all those kind of a questions uh, via this whiteboard and via this talk experience. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.